Thank you very much, Eric. And this District 32 is just one heck of a team, not to take away from any of the others, but uh, Beth has just been terrific. She was my sign coordinator last time, and now she's running. So we had to re recruit Josie to fill in a, at that level. And speaking of heat, uh, we were out putting up signs this past weekend with Erie and a couple of our muscle folks in 97 degree weather. And uh, fortunately, they were doing most of the hammering. Uh, so so it is, uh, it's tough, but it's good. We have uh, collectively knocked on over 3,000 doors as of last weekend, out of 5,000 our goal from the district. Uh, so we're, we're going at it. I just want to share a couple quick things because I definitely want uh, us to have time with Scott. Um, a couple days ago, and this is how this team works, uh, Eric called me and says, I just had a delightful meeting with a conservative right to life uh, person who's very concerned uh, about abortion and about uh, how people handle that. Uh, so I called Stacy Waldman uh, after Chaz and I met yesterday because Chaz is bringing in this whole health uh, initiative loaded with progressives, and I said to give both Steph and me, Stephanie and myself some cover, and also to legitimately reach out. Uh, and this is one of the things I, I absolutely adore about Scott. Um, this state uh, has to get beyond partisanism, and, and we've proved it. Anyway, uh, we had a very nice uh, chat with Stacy. Uh, she provides services to uh, 60 women a month young pregnant women, 60% Native American, uh, and uh, they believe only in Africans now, they're pro-life, but her whole point with Chaz and myself was, let's work together on those areas where we can agree and just not deal with the other areas. And I think that's what we very much need uh, in this state and in this city. Uh, district 32 is one of the most diverse, economically diverse districts in the state. Uh, has a lot of poor folks uh, out on the edge of the district, 79, a lot of young Native women coming up from the reservation, single moms, a lot of white kids coming into Western Dakota Tech, uh, living on the edge. You go up to Robbinsdale, you have uh, our white elderly barely making it, sometimes splitting uh, their pills to survive. And then as you move up the elevation, you get into the new Robbinsdale, the, the new young professionals, then up into West Boulevard, the old wealth, where Stan and Ellie and yours truly, we all live there. And then the way up on top of Skyline Drive, the McMansions. So it's a wonderfully diverse district. And uh, as I walked it two years ago, I said, this is what America's all about. If we can bring people of such diverse economic background, we're also 7% Native or 2% African American, 2% Asian in that district. If we can bring all of us together, that's what Obama has been telling us all along. We're not red Americans, we're not blue Americans. United States Americans. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go any further on this except to say that uh, it's a wonderful, marvelous team, and I'll uh, just uh, introduce Scott. <coughs>